Hey everyone, right now I'm at Classic Coach in New Jersey for their open house and as you can see behind me, a lot of Ferraris, a lot of Italian cars. This is the place where you come if you want to see the best Ferraris in the world. They do restorations that can take up to five years and the cars come out literally Pebble Beach Concours winners. So let me take you for a tour, a uh, quick tour of the parking lot and then show you the inside the shop where the real magic happens. So, I want to show you this first. Dream car, right at the front. Yellow 360 Challenge Stradale, no stripe. That, to me, is perfection. So, let's go inside and see what I'm talking about. Posted up out front, Aventador SV Roadster, Interstate Motorsport, check them out on Instagram. And back to all the Ferraris, let me bring you guys inside the shop to show you all the beautiful cars inside. You have a 430 with Challenge Grill with a 430 Scuderia, that's pretty cool. New Aston Martin Vantage. GT3, 458, 430, 458 Spider. You get the idea. Challenge should all I takes the cake though. Yeah, but I can't get Two it. insanely fast convertibles. Turn around and welcome to the shop. Instantly greeted by all sorts of Ferraris, 355s, 458 Spider, 575M. But check this out. 512 BBI going under a uh, complete restoration, which is why it's all taped up. Next to an F40. I believe this is a 166 MM, the second Ferrari off the production line. I can't even start to guess what this car would be worth if it ever sold. Euro Spec F40. 430 Spider in for just a quick cosmetic upgrade. Another five. 550 Marinello, another Euro Spec F40, Daytona. How often do you see a Ferrari shell just sitting on the floor? I love it. Now these two cars have been here for at least three years. These are probably five year plus projects. 250 California Spider. This will be a car that will be worthy of uh, winning Pebble Beach when it's done. Same with the 275. Beautiful. Inside the F40 motor torn down. And a blue 812 super fast. Okay. Classic Coach is so meticulous about every every fine detail on every car. It should be good, as good, or if not better, than when it left the factory brand new. This blue is beautiful, by the way. 812, great Grand Touring car. 
take a walk back into the shop where the the true craftsmanship comes to to show. These jigs to put these cars together. This isn't some quick two, three week process. This is months upon months upon months, if not years, getting these cars rebuilt. I believe that's an F50 bumper. Here's a 355 challenge being uh, restored. Back to brand new condition. 250 PF cab, I believe. The gentlemen that work here, the skills that they possess is something that can't even be taught. You need to learn this from just being in the industry for so long and being around this. I mean, all this is done by hand. This isn't a machine that comes in and cuts it exactly to spec. This is 30, 40, 50 years of experience. And pictures to show what the car looked like when it was new and will look like soon. Let's keep on uh, taking a walk and looking around a few more areas of the shop before we go upstairs. Another 512 BBI. Alfa Romeo. Two fifty Luso. If I'm remembering this correctly, this car will be seen on social media pretty soon. It's already been posted a few times if this is a car. I'm thinking, but if it is, I'll make sure to uh, post the link in the description of the owner so you can check him out and check out the car once it's done. Four thirty Scuderia bumper, F twelve bumper. You can really tell you're somewhere special when you walk through this place. There's a car in the paint booth, I believe it's a uh, Mondial, but it's a quick tour of uh, the downstairs garage and where the cars are put back together and brought to life. So now let's go upstairs and I'll show you the Classique facility and where cars are in their final uh, stages of being rebuilt and some other cars that are stored here that you'll never see anywhere else. So let's go check that out now. So the frame I was talking about that takes months to months if not years to complete goes to this shell. As you go upstairs, you're immediately greeted by all the trophies for Ferrari Challenge. And it just goes on and on and on. Lots of first place, first place, first place, first place. 
very, very skilled racing. You have F40 luggage set. Well, pieces of F40 luggage set, along with a 456. More trophies for first place. Quick peek. Very nice. Now let's go into the Classic A portion of the building. Here you go, Daytona Spider. Fully, fully taken apart. New coat of paint. Next to a 288 GTO. Undergoing the same procedure. And my, one of my favorites, 333 SP. I've never actually seen one fully taken apart to this extent. Oh, that V12, look at those headers. Massive rear wing, of course. Another Daytona, another 512 BBI. Hey, boy. And now, the hidden portion, the cars that almost never, or some have never seen the light of day. Beautiful E30 M3 right off the bat. Yet another F40. Have you ever seen an F12 TDF taken apart like this? I don't think so. Five fifty Marinello, of course with the manual, 575 Super America and Rosso Scuderia. I'm not sure if I've seen that color before on the Super America. Look at that, another 333 SP. Look at that livery on it too. Here's a bit of the F40 under the cover. Looks like a Maserati. I'm not 100% sure. I apologize, I don't know these cars that well. But one car that I dream of owning one day is this. Whatever this is, I want it. You guys can have all of that. I'll take this. Ooh, Lamborghini. Which Alfa Romeo is this? You have a Maserati Birdcage, Lamborghini Mira, and a Lamborghini Mira SVJ. Yes, that is a real SV Jota. 
Now that things have calmed down a bit and I have the showroom to myself, here's the LaFerrari Coupe. Looks like it's a F1 2007 red, so it's a bit deeper. Out in the sun, it's very, very vibrant. Lovely color, 996 turbo. Coming over here, you have a Ducati 999S. I don't even want to try and pronounce that because I'll butcher it. And behind the Ducati is a 599 and a LaFerrari Aperta. You can tell it's an Aperta by that little bit right there. Otherwise it has a carbon roof. You have a Ferrari F40 hood looking down on you along with F40 side skirts. Enzo in the background, 458 hood, 458 challenge bumper that's seen uh, better days. And you have some doors to uh, another Ferrari, 458 challenge hood, and a brand new Lamborghini Miura engine. You're never going to see this anywhere else, maybe not even the Lamborghini Museum. So that's it for the Classic Coach open house. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite car is. From the video, and I cannot stop drooling over this 599 SA Aperta. So fresh, so clean. Love it.